Good evening. A recent study shows that the percentages of people between the ages of 18 and 29 who are single is on the rise. What is it about relationships that has millennials saying, no thanks? So are you guys dating? Yeah. How long have you guys been together? About three years. Any plans to get married? If he was my husband, I'd poison his coffee. If she was my wife, I'd gladly drink it. Excuse me, sir. Are you single? Hell yeah. Is there a reason why? I just like my peace of mind. Women are too good at arguing. I just don't got time for that. Sometimes when we're arguing, she'll be like screaming in my face and saying, I'm not yelling. I don't yell at you. Yeah. In a nation that is more polarized than ever, how could it be that young people just aren't experienced with arguing? And if that is the case, then it's our obligation to teach you the stages of arguing so that you are better prepared when you decide you are ready and able to enter into a relationship with another human being. Stage one, the incident. You're out with your boyfriend and friends when suddenly he blurts out confidential information you disclose to him in confidence. He proceeds through the conversation as if he's done nothing wrong. Stage two, addressing the incident. Now this can occur immediately after said incident or sometimes it may be brought up years later. It's not a big deal. They're our friends. They don't care. I care. I told you not to tell anyone and then you go and tease me about it in front of them. You are being too serious about this. Stage three, escalating the incident. Men typically say something inaccurate, stupid, irrelevant, ridiculous, out of nowhere, hypocritical, mocking, or nothing at all, which obviously escalates the situation to a degree it was never intended for. My wife edited that paragraph. Stage four, going to separate rooms. At some point, you both will stop yelling and will go to separate corners of the residency. It will seem the argument has finished. The argument is not finished. Stage five, addressing past incidents not having anything to do with this one. She needs to bring up every thing you've ever done before there can be any finish line in sight. She's bringing up things you forgot about, things you're not even sure if you ever did. Be prepared. Stage six, the resolution. Finally, after what may have been hours or days, you both have made a conscious effort to apologize and move on. In six years of being married, I don't think I've ever heard my wife apologize. Did you just mumble some snarky comment under your breath? Uh, no, Pumpkin. I would never do that. Wow. You think you're cute right now, huh? Yeah, well, we'll talk about this later. Stage seven, your girl says, wow. Just don't ever let it get to that stage because once your girl says that, you are in major trouble. Anyway, good luck out there, young lovers. Remember, love is work without a paycheck. Have a good night. Oh, you like that video, huh? Well, then subscribe. What the f*** are you waiting for? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like cursing? Well, f*** that. How does a person even make it through life without cursing? You know what? I'm not classy, and I don't pretend to be. Anyway, if you don't subscribe, you're missing out on new videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eh, whatever. It's up to you.